Hi, welcome back to Chess Tech. Today we're going to do something different. I'm not going to play chess in this video. I'm going to give you a summary of all the current uh, online chess playing sites that uh, I've played on the last 15 years. So these are sites that I've been to. I used to play on a lot. I still do play on them. Um, and I'm just going to give you my overview, my general feeling as sort of like a, you know, a a person that's pretty keen on chess that would pay to join a chess site, uh, and also maybe you don't want to pay to join a chess site. What's the best one? Is it worth paying to join a chess site? Which site is really worth paying on? What value and features do you want from a chess site? and so on so um, there are quite a few out there and I apologize that not every site will be in here but um, I've just put the main ones on that I've been playing on as I say in the last 15 years and I've seen other sites come and go I'm only interested really I'm looking at these sites um, well probably from a perspective of playing all types of online chess generally you know your classic long uh, blitz rapid chess and then doing some tactics puzzles um, and, uh, and teaching uh, features so sort of quite holistically really giving you a, an overview of what I think all in all um, tutorials um, are there cheats on there the type of players that are on there and so uh, um, you know are they easy to use value for money so I'm not going to make this a really long video but I'm just hopefully this might help some people who are um, either new to online chess or uh, thinking of spending their money so Let's start with Lee Chess, okay? Not Lie Chess, but it's Lee Chess. So Lee Chess is free, and here is Lee Chess, as you can see. And um, what we've got here is um, basically a site that's the playing interface. So I'm going to get into a game here. It's browser-based, okay? So this is playing in my browser. I don't need to download any applications or software to make it work. I just make a move and my opponent makes the move back and I can do whatever I want um, I can play it on my phone um, so I don't have to download any applications or worry about being away from my computer which might have my particular app on it okay so basically some chess sites require you to download an application and install it locally on your computer and some sites just have a browser based option I think some sites even have both I personally uh, more of a fan, just lost a piece there, never mind. Um, I'm not really trying, I'm just playing this so you can get a feel for the interface. Um, so, I personally don't like chess sites where you have to download something. I just find that a bit annoying in 2017. Um, it's just a bit unnecessary. So, um, yeah. Uh, that's just my personal view. You know, there's not that's not to say in any way that uh, these sites won't be um, they're not any good, you know, because they are. So he's been mated. So uh, on Lie Chess, uh, you've got your own profile page. You've got a breakdown of all your the main time controls: bullet blitz, rapid, obviously classical. What you've done a nice time on very slick, clean layout, really nice. Um, it's got a really nice puzzle feature here which I'm going to try and solve so we've got, uh, what have we got here black to move, so it's really good teaching tools I'd say on Lie Chess really nice clean interface all the puzzles seem to be taken from a real game, you can analyse them afterwards view the solution um, he's moved his king so somebody help me here it, I've, I'm supposed to be um, finding the best move for black and as you can see there's I've got a bit of a mare here, I've got quite a few wrong recently and you get a puzzle rating that goes up and down so I've got to find the best move for black does anybody know what the best move for black here is? Mm, it's probably pretty obvious I expect uh, I want to play rook takes pawn check but I can't see the follow up, can anybody see a follow up? Um, well black's obviously losing because he's an exchange down and a lot of pawns down so it's a swindle in this position um, oh look, I've got a check here. Maybe that's it. I'd say check. Uh, and then we play this check to take his king away and then I win his queen. Hooray! At last I won a, I got four points. So that's really nice. And then it's got other um, learning features in here. Oh, 
apologies I just I wasn't, wasn't meant to press that I just wanted to show you another feature find the best move for black again well part of me just wants to take that rook why can't I just take the rook just check he's uh, obviously I'll put the rook across there then I get I get mated so I think I've got to move my um, king haven't I there we go. Right, let's just try and look at the other features. Okay, coordinates. This is a nice feature where you've just got to know the coordinates of the chessboard. So D5, E2. So I've got to try and play the pawn to uh, D5, just click the square, E2, which is there, G3, which is there. And then obviously you've got a timer going, and the more you can do, the better. So it's just a little drill like that, learn, um, study, we've got coaches on here, nicely laid out, easily accessible, we can get hold of these people, we can actually see who they are, whether they're normal human beings or not, they all look pretty legitimate to me, and I'm assuming they've been vetted by uh, Lee Chess. Um, uh, other things we've got on here, so study, we can study um, all sorts of positions and games. It's pretty in depth actually. Very impressive. You can got your own studies, you can contribute to studies. Um you've got broadcasts of of uh, coming up of uh, live chess tournaments. You've got live chess T V where you can just watch a game at high, all different types of game, probably the higher rated players. You've got a community of players and teams, questions and answers. I mean it's very happening. I'm quite biased to lie chess because I like the interface, I like the ease of use, it answers all my problems, solves everything that I need in chess. Um, can't, really, can't really see many problems with lie chess. If lie chess is relatively new in the chess world, um, okay, it's not been around as some of the other big hitting chess sites. But if I ran or was associated or in business with any of the other chesses, I'd be seriously worried about Lee Chess because Lee Chess is uh, just miles above ahead in pretty much every department uh, going. And um, I can't see any reason why, um, to be honest, can't see many reasons why you need to play any worse. When it started, it didn't have quite as many features as it's got now, um, and therefore other sites were ahead of it in terms of those features. But now it's caught up. Um, it's got a beautiful analysis board for after your games. Gives you a nice computer analysis. Um, it's very very good. You can play all types of variants of chess here as well, as you can see on Lie Chess, Crazy House, Atomic Chess, and Horde. So, all in all, I like the way you don't have to have a board layout like this, by the way. You can have a board layout however you want. Um, I've just got a 3D layout because I just particularly p I just prefer it. Um, so, you've got a nice board editor here. You can have a 2D one. And obviously, yeah, you don't need me to explain that to you. Um, so, let's have a look at another site then. Um, chess.com so chess.com has been around for a good while it's very um, w one thing I will say I'd say uh, Lee Chess is an international site a lot of it feels like to me it's a more worldwide fully international site whereas chess.com seems to me to be very heavily USA based the player base okay not that, that should make any difference but I'm just giving you a an overview so Okay, let's talk about playing interface on chess.com. It's browser based, okay. Um and um yeah, it's it's okay. Um it's not as slick as um as Lee Chess. It just doesn't have um I've always found it a little bit glitchy to be honest, and I think it's out of date. Uh, I, I'm confused about why they don't make it better. It's not. It's by all means completely fine. I used to play a lot of bullet chess, which is one minute chess, and I found that it um, was just not good enough. It was just totally some of the other big sites who use an application you download locally to your computer, just far more robust, um, and it just wasn't up to it. 
but yeah, I'd say it's okay. It's um, you know, it's definitely usable, and um, I don't have any problem with it. You know, for playing, it's it's fine. Yeah, okay. Um, the only thing I'd say is, uh, you know, it's if you like playing fast chess a lot, then I just don't think it's really up to it. Um, one of the best things about um, a chess.com is the teaching and learning features are very very good. Um, before we go on to that, let's just get this uh, game out of the way. Just check him there, and then we'll check him. Is he going to go back to the white square? What should we do? I'm just playing any old chess here. I'm just literally, just to give you an idea of um, the interface. So you've got various features and controls here where you can see what's going on, who's online, who's playing, as m most sites have got. Um, it's quite works pretty well on a mobile browser. Um, you've got your time controls here, tournaments that are on. Um, it yeah, it's it's a it's a good site. Um, I don't really have any any problems at all with um, chess.com. I, I think it's a very solid website, you know, um, and it does allow you to play for free. So I'm just I just joined. I'm playing a free game. It's not costing me any money at all. It's taking me seconds to join, and I'm I'm playing, and uh, everybody's happy. So, um, you know, what more could you ask for? If you don't want to pay any money, then uh, chess.com could be the site for you. Um, what else have we got about chess.com? Yeah, um, I would say that the average playing strength is is pretty good. Um, there's there's uh, you're going to get a good balanced mix of of, of uh, skill levels um, but um, you know it's probably it's got some very very strong masters it has a lot of tournaments live tournaments that are um, broadcast uh, against uh, top rated players um, I'd say it's chess news coverage is is okay um, it's not up there with some of the bigger sites but it's it's more of a play a game playing chess site um, and they've innovated quite a lot of things they've got a thing called four way chess where four people can play a game of chess at once so they are pretty innovative like that um, so this game is completely over it's just it's uh, taking a bit of a long time um, so question is all we need to do is just take this pawn and then queen it so let's go here if we can get rid of that bishop, not many places for it really. Ought to really resign now. It's pretty much lost, completely lost position. Apart from you can take that in queen, but actually, uh, so if I've blundered there, uh, oh no, we're okay, yeah. No, we're not okay. <laughs> oh, we're actually we're okay, yeah. We'll just come in here. His last ditch effort there. So that was lucky, wasn't it? That would have been pretty embarrassing to have lost that two pieces up. Um, so let's just get this pawn out the board and make it into a queen, and then we can all go home. Huh? Come on! We could just push that and get two pass pawns. Yay! But he's not going to be in time, is he? Check. He must be hating this night. Um, let's put it here. Maybe we'll win at least. Get queen. He's going to take me. And I'm going to come here. Check. He loses his queen. That's a bit of a shame. Made a lot very hard work of this. Very hard work. I'll just dump this king in this. Uh, let's just get rid of that. Do it the old 
fashioned me. Yeah, I, I find, like I said, I'm he's resigned, okay. So learning, let's have a look, we've got nice tactics. So, yeah, it's, I mean, you, you couldn't ask for more, really. Um, it's, uh, there you go, I solved it, and my rating went up. So you've got a nice tactics trainer here. Uh, we've got an opening explorer where you can just obviously put some openings in. Now, these tactics and opening uh, explorer thingy, jig features are limited. You can't get maximum use out of them unless you pay some money, which is probably fine. Um, lessons. Here we go. You've got lessons you can take. Um, I have a study plan. Um, the Royal Game. I mean, I'm I just paid no money, and I'm having a lesson about chess. It's all free content. I mean, it's pretty amazing, really. Very, very, very good. Trills, checkmates. I really need to practice this. So two bishops, mate. Yeah, you got to be premium to unlock that. You see, so you can have a free trial. You get the idea. Over and all, over, you know, um, all in all, sorry. Chess.com is good. It's got a pretty, you know, p busy forum, I'd say. Um, you know, pretty much everything has been discussed. Uh, you know, it's um, it's just one of these um, places, you know, you're going to ask a question, sometimes you do get uh you know you, you you shouldn't have any problems in finding you know pretty much everything you want how does it differ to lead chess um i don't know it's tough to say really um it's the fact that you just have to pay to use it and i'm struggling to see what's here that's worth paying for that's not on lead chess now um, it has got some nice content. It's probably a little bit more refined than Lee Chess at the moment, but from a chess playing point of view, if you just want to get some games in, I mean, even the free freebie settings good. There's no problems with it. Um, it's just it is what it is, you know. Um, so that is Chess.com, and I'm just going to resign very shortly. Uh, unless I can just mate him here, or something crazy like that. Just literally, I am literally just about to. I'm not going to play on this site. There's no point in uh, rushing here. Takes, takes. Um, let's just do some kamikaze stuff here. Absolute kamikaze. Um. Queen. Oh well, I'm just not even. I'm just going to resign this game because it's just a computer game, and it's pretty pointless. So let's go on to InstantChess.com. So Instant Chess, interesting little site. Not many people know about it. It's a bit pokey. It's been around for a long time. You can play for free. You can just start a game. Here we go. I'm straight in. Look, uh, I just put my username in a box. So I'm playing chess. Here we go. So I'm just playing. Um and that's it really. It's pretty uh yeah, so um this is um instant chess as I was saying and you can just start a game and it's it's pretty slick interface, you know. No problems really. Um I just think it's um a very unknown chess site generally. It's, it's, it's got a very neat little interface here um, but I tell you what it has got some very very nice little touches that none of the other sites for some unknown reason do like it tells you the opening uh, as you're playing you can analyze the game very simply straight afterwards you can see the PGN straight away as you're playing um, on your profile you can see what success you're having with certain openings 
um, and uh, how good you are. So this guy here, um, here we go, usage ratio, openings, and how efficient you are. I think this is very, very good, very good. I'm very surprised that other chess sites don't do it. I mean, this is very, very good to know what's going on here. I mean, if you can know that, look, this guy's playing this, obviously, it's a Philidor. <coughs> he's played it ten times and lost seven. But, obviously, his main opening is 122, lost five. I think this is very, very useful. As Blackie, he, he gets to know what he's struggling against. So, you can actually look at the losses and see what's going on. And, like, I've all confused about why lie chess and the chess and chess.com don't offer that it's got medals and tournaments and uh, all sorts of things like that it's got ladders countries player ratings team challenges it doesn't have any training um, uh, features as far as I can see it's purely a chess playing site um, and that's what it's about it uses flash it's a bit annoying you know so you device might have an issue uh, running it you've got to download some application here which is a bit annoying I don't really want to do that um, so you know I'd say it's pretty good um, all in all I would recommend it and chess you've got to pay for it if you want some of the premium features for $4.99 um, a month I think is can't actually see what my um what's going on here so I think I'll just resign um review the game you can propose a game search for a new opponent here we go so I'm just playing some guy doesn't want to play me but I would say instant chess is very oriented to just playing chess um and that's probably play on the go, four ninety nine per month. There you go. Read more about a subscription. So it's pretty good really, five quid a month, why not? I'd say it's 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 good value. I'd say it's got a couple of features to me that are more important than the features than 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 to know which opening lines that you do best with is very, very interesting I think. Um, over time, if you're in, if you want to know, um, so yeah, I like Instant Chess, and that's just another site you can play for free or pay. I would definitely recommend checking it out. Pretty good value. Like I say, they're both roughly the same sort of price range-ish, fifty, sixty pounds, you know, dollars, give or take a few to get your premium membership like Chess.com. Um, like I say, there's not much in the old training for uh, instant chess but it, it, like I say if you don't if you want a less a less cluttered chess playing um area where it's just pure chess then I'd say it's actually probably got some advantages over some of the um um bigger sites you know so who else have we got um let's get rid of that let's get rid of, you've got chess cube yeah so there's a Blast from the past. Now, Chess Cube is um, quite a nice site. I haven't played on it for a couple of years, to be honest. Similar to um, Instant Chess, I think it requires a Flash plugin, I think. Um, but um, I think one stupid thing that I found you have to play for Qubits, this thing called Qubits, and it was just a bit annoying. Um, I just wanted to play, yeah, I've got to activate this flash plugging. I mean, I just, it's a bit pants, it, it's a bit annoying, but it's okay. Nice interface. Um, it's got, it's got some good features. Um, but it just had this weird thing about Qubits, I remember. If you wanted to keep playing, you had to keep buying more qubits and I found that a bit of a swindle but maybe that's just the way um, it was some weird stuff going on um, yeah I, I can't even it's not even letting me uh, 
just let me play as a guest. Um, it's I'm surprised it's it's it wants me to register. Whereas a good thing about instant chess, obviously you can just play it straight away. You don't have to register. You can just go boom straight in. We're playing. So a bit annoying there. If you don't want to register, you've got to register. Nice interface, slick, similar to instant chess. You know, more game playing. Probably has got a shop and some videos and training, but it's nothing on the level of live chess or chess.com. It's it's just don't waste your time if you're join. You know, you don't you're not joining this site for the training and deep analysis tools and all those sort of premium playing features of uh, you're playing it to play chess online, nothing else basically. But it is a very nice, slickly designed interface, and it works. I'd say it's not glitchy. It, in any way, it's very good for bullet chess. It's better than um, I prefer it to uh, chess.com if you want to play speed chess. Uh, okay, so that's that's um, and who have we got? The ICC. Oh God, ICC. So ICC have been around for yonks. Very very strong USA user base and international. A lot of GMs, obviously. You can see here it's it's sort of like the long-standing established most um, you know proper quote marks chess playing site on the internet I'd say one thing that used to just really annoys me about it that in the past is having to download these ridiculous um, interfaces to be able to actually play the game and if you're not very technical it's a pain in the butt and even when you've downloaded them there's just they're just so complicated. Um, so I've got a, I've got a web interface. Wow, never used to have that. That's a relatively new thing. But before you just had to download this application and install it. Getting things to work was a mare. Just um, the just nerdy glitchy commands that you would have to spend a lot of time understanding just to get anywhere. I didn't like it. Um, I can see they must have lost a lot of people to the browser-based sites. Um, and but they probably thought, who care? They don't care because they just want a more, probably more serious user base. I'd say of ChessClub.com or ICC International Chess Club. Um, it's it's probably um, you know I would say it's a pretty serious fraternity here. U.S. Chess Federation. I think you have an online rating now. I think on their their rated tournaments. So um, which is interesting. Um, Online race tournaments, yeah. So, which is good actually. Um, so, yeah, I don't have a US. Uh, uh, obviously, I'm not from America. You can still register, presumably. Can you, do you have to be uh, the US based? Who knows? But we'll come back to that. Um, so, it is a good site. It is solid. That the chess plane interface. I will say that the download application is like a bullet. Very, very strong, a robust interface for playing bullet chess. Uh, much, much, much more um, reliable than the browser ones in the early days. Um, but now, again, it's a bit of a clunky thing to have to download this. But actually, if I was playing serious chess online, I'd probably play with a application on my computer rather than the browser anyway. Um, so. Um, can we play again? Oh look, I'm going to play a game here. Okay. Yeah, your CCAD and all this, um, it's better. It, I found it annoying when you're trying to play games sometimes on it. It's just, just trying to find competition, with, you know, just, just a bit, it's a bit angry and you can hear by the the noise and the, the layout it's it's just a bit crude I suppose is the word I'm looking for about it but it's playable and it's free um, and I can't see any reason why you can't join ICC for free and have a good time so um, so yeah I'm just playing anything here um, yeah so there we go, let's resign this game. Pick a phrase. Ooh, ooh, mouse slip. Ooh. Uh, so, training, let's have a look. <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me, how do I resign this game? We want to resign this game. Can we resign the game? I can't actually see. I can resign it. In any way. Close. Or else anything I could see. Yeah. This K bit thing here. here. I mean. It's just. I just find all this just. N just. A, a completely mindless, nerdy, ridiculous, unnecessary way of communicating when all the other chess sites you can just open up a chat window and just talk or say or seek within seconds I don't know really it's just historic I think I think it just die out in the end it's a certain generation of people playing online that obviously want to do this sort of creepy um, sort of seeking and talking and nudging and uh, k-bitsing k-bitsing uh, whispering. Anyway, I'm just ranting. I'm just giving you my overview of this site. It's got a TV channel. You can see it's still a bit archaic at the site, the layout. It's still a bit backward, the whole thing. Just not very slick. Only just about, only probably now beginning to realise that they need to sort themselves out and have a proper. But they're more about content. The content on here is, is very good. It's, you know, if you want to learn video, learn about chess, the videos. The quality, the commentary, the people they've got of seconds and none, probably, you know, um, very, very good. It's, I just, there's just something about it I uh, find a bit annoying, I suppose. I don't know what so much. It sounds irrational, I know, just something about it. Um, it's not very, f I just don't feel it's very friendly for some reason. Um, Anyway, that's Internet Chess Club. So long established site. You got to you can play for free, or you can pay for all the features, usual thing. Got to download an application. You can play with the browser, but it's pretty pants and archaic. A bit behind, really, in the browser-based playing. If you don't want to have to download something compared to Lead Chess and um, uh, Chess.com, it's a bit it's a bit clunky, but it is very good in lots of other ways like content and if you don't mind downloading the app I would to play chess like Dasher or Blitz and I wouldn't I would say that um, it's fine. So next is the, the daddy of chess chessbase.com so if you actually run um, playchess.com um, and you can just go straight into a game here it's quite impressive actually um, that you can just uh, play you just straight in like this. There you go. I'm a guess. I'm playing, and uh, I'm ready to start a game. Is that right? Or am I waiting for a game? Yes, yeah, just play any one-minute game will do. Um. So I oh, was aborted straight away. Let's try again. You can't really complain when it's free, can you? You know. Um. He's aborted again. Don't want to play me. Fair enough. There we go. I'm just going to play anything here. Rai Lopez. Uh, is that Schleeman? Uh, what am I doing? Let's just take that. Take that. Let's um, pin this knight. Uh, anyway, it's an, it's, uh, I think it's a pretty good interface, to be honest. I don't have any problem with it at all. Oh, I've gone into the wrong side. So it's a pretty... S it, it's a bit... It's a bit... Um, it's a little bit, uh, that's a word I'm looking for. Um, oh, I'm trying to compare it to ICC, yeah. It's just a little bit clunky. Can I win that bishop for free? Who's going to mate me there? Um, I'd better take that, actually. Yeah. And I get mated. Hooray. So it's a bit, it's a bit, um, a bit clunky and out of date. But it's free and it's pretty solid. Um, no training. It's obviously this is the free part. Of it, so you're not going to get a tremendous amount here for free. But hey, if you just want a casual place to play chess, then it's pretty good. Um, obviously, you can join and have all the features. Um, but um, I would say, you know, um, there's better chess playing sites really. Um, and you get access to a lot of content if you join Chessbase. 
So really, I don't know whether it's more about joining chess space to get these additional features and unlock it all and have training rather than actually um, the chess playing part of it. Um, but all in all, it's pretty good. Um, a bit, maybe, interface is a bit heavy. Um, if you just want to play on your phone, things like that, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, it's a bit. It's a bit 2003, like ICC. I mean, they're about. They're, they've caught up, but they're just still miles behind Lee Chess in terms of their interface and the slickness of it, uh, and and the actual navigation usability. Very backward. Um, probably, I don't know why that is. They've not really managed to get up there. Obviously, Chess.com and Lee Chess have got some more switched on people who understand a bit. Uh, know how to address the issues of younger chess players in modern using modern devices uh, but these guys can't seem to get a grip of it quite yet they're still sort of serving I feel people look at you know, desktop PCs all the time which is not a terrible thing but you know maybe those they don't care anyway next um, chess 24 yeah so that's a pretty new site only been going a few years really um nice site it's pretty good good resources um lots of gms and ims on here um pretty good interface slick browser based again uh it's it's a it's a bit it is a serious chess playing site don't get me wrong definitely is a serious plus chain site probably not the same level of learning Again, the depth is good. It's got good good content on it, um, but it probably just not as deep and broad as some of the more established sites like Chess.com and ICC. So it's good. Probably more modern, younger, modern audience, international audience. Again, uh, not particularly any particular. Probably more European, if I'd say if anything, Eastern Bloc. Um, it's a good site, no problems with it really, I can't see uh, any issues um, I'm just going to start playing and searching for an opponent I do like, I quite like this interface, it's quite nice um, so here we go let's play, let's go for a Sicilian um, 5 minute blitz game yeah, I mean this interface is used it seems in a lot of the big over the board tournaments um, and uh yeah like uh, when they're when they're covering the you know, proper games the big tournaments they're using uh the <laughs> this technology so it obviously is reasonably good um you know it's um but it's not it, it's it's okay it's good you know it's not incredible i prefer l lee chess um and i prefer chess.com but um you know it's pretty good you can play for free, you know, you can do whatever you want basically within reason. It's a good community here, resources, um it's 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 um yeah, it's it's good. It's a good site, good solid site. I'd say it's probably in the top three, I would say, uh of my chess sites to play on. It, it, and sometimes I just don't play on a site like this, not because there's anything wrong with it, it's just because I joined another site that's uh just good enough and does what I want. And I think this is a problem, like going back to Lee Chess again, I can get everything I want for nothing. Or I can have everything I want and pay for it with the other sites, if you see what I mean. And probably the new the paid for sites still are probably not quite as good. So you've got you know, somebody's gonna have to come up with something pretty revolutionary. Um to in to, to for people in the future to want to pay for their um, uh, content or their chess playing site, so I don't know what that's going to be. I'm sure some of you will think of something. I think it's the playing of probably higher rated title players that people find more attractive. Um, so you know, let's just see what they come up with in the future. The ball is in their court, you know. Um, so what have we got here? I'll just resign this game. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave the game. Got the news, all the usual sort of chess playing stuff. Pretty good coverage, no problems at all. 
uh, I would recommend this site. I don't have an issue with it. Um, I, d I don't love the. I don't, I'm not. It's a it's a little bit messy. The information that's going on here, but it's not terrible. This is my personal critique critique of it. Um, but yeah, that's chess twenty four. So basically, I've reviewed chess twenty four, play chess, internet chess club. Instant Chess, Chess.com, Chess Cube, and Lee Chess, and I would say probably all things. Me personally, all things being equal, I just think Lee Chess is the, is the best site out there at the moment. Um, it has everything I want. It's slick. Um, uh, it's just, I think it's just a class act. It's going to be very difficult for anybody to. Um, it's very hard to get people away from their chess sites, and that's the thing. Once they're, they've joined, people generally are, very, are quite loyal, unless something tragic happens. Um, but I would say that uh, you know, uh, chess.com, very good site. Chess24, very good. Um, let's see, if we can. Piece here. Oh, we're not going to protect it. We'll have that dark square bishop anyway. Um, so, yeah, I hope this has been useful for you. And uh, if you've got any comments or questions, uh, please leave them on YouTube. Um, and I can give you some more detailed information about a site if you're thinking of paying money for it. Oh, look, I forked him. I might better win this queen. Uh, it'd be nice if he just moved it back there, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, you just uh, tell me what you want to uh, know, and I'll post it. You just take that pawn there. That's a bit of a blunder. I'm just bluffing here. I'm just going to play f4. I'm just completely bluffing. There's no tactics here. I'm just literally. I don't mind him taking that. Take it. Still lost. It should be lost, he said. Because now he's got to protect that. That's interesting. I wonder why he didn't want to run. So, if we go back here now, I'm threatening to mate him. Oh well. That was nice to end the video on that little mate there. So, there we go. That is a chess review of 2017. Chess tech, all the main sites that I play on out there. And like I say, uh, let me know what you think. And um, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we'll see you soon.